Hello guys and girls, my name is Mr. Orange and welcome back to Rise of Insanity. So we are currently in the living room and for some reason the kitchen is flooded by a bunch of rocks. So I don't know what happened here but something really serious has happened here. So we're gonna go into the hallway of this house and uh, see what happened here because there's a lot of like knocked over stuff like the lamps and uh, this huge bookshelf. Like I don't know what happened here but... Yeah, we're just gonna go into the hallway and just explore here for a little bit. So, okay, there's some more no uh, cross tape, some crime scene tape. Wow, something really bad has happened here. Okay, here's the phone. Here's a oh, wow. Okay, well, that happened. <laughs> How did that happen? Now we, now we can't really go anywhere else. Everything is flooded by a bunch of rocks. So, that's a small problem. Um, we could maybe go upstairs, but let me just go into the child's room. Okay, let's go inside. Why is the bear sitting on on the chair? That's terrifying. Okay, we got a ducky. Yay! I'm gonna grab that. Uh, here we have nothing else. Some more knocked over trophies here. Uh, some drawings? Oh no. That looks like a knife. St someone stabbed a girl. That's not a nice picture. Why is, she Why is the boy like drawing th this? Why? Damn, look at that old car. So, like, looks like an old, really old ca Cadillac. But yeah, uh, something really serious has happened here. Oh, there's a book. The Unforgiving Crows. Uh, every morning, two crows named Thought of Memory release and fly above the world. Okay. That sounds like a serious book. Uh, let's just exit out of this room. Uh, let's go upstairs. I'm hoping there's not going to be more rocks that they're gonna like fall behind this. Oh well, that's that's not a problem. We can't really go into here. Oh no, that's that's a small small problem. But here here we have a letter. A famous psychologist accuses by the commitment of excess. Exes? I think that's what it said. Okay, so famous uh, of things, whatever it's called, the er an experimental method of treating se severe um, psychological disorders developed by Dr. Stephen Dow has been raised to con con conversational for a long time. After sessions of continuing the at the doctors, the condition of the patient significantly. Okay, I can't really see that, but if you guys want to read this this you know little thing yeah, there you go guys like it's so annoying for me to read this stuff so sorry if I'm not reading this sometimes but it's just really annoying for me but okay so something uh, looks like a newsletter or some kind of a uh, article about the the doctor okay, we're gonna close the doors behind us oh no that looks terrifying yeah sorry if I haven't read that but if you guys want to read it there you go I'm just like sometimes I'm really good at reading and sometimes I'm just really trash so, just saying. Okay, so looks like we have like made a little roundabout, and what is that? Looks like a little uh, bird on a stick. Okay, well that's that's nice. Oh, here we have something here. Oh, a tape, a tape player. Uh, patient. Uh, data today is twenty-eight of March. <laughs> March. March. No, 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 no. Weird case. Weird case only. Experimental methods. Only experimental. <laughs> no. <laughs> Why him? <laughs> Why him? I don't know. I don't know. Weird case. Weird. Weird case. Okay, that doesn't really sound serious. The doctor doesn't sound really that serious. Okay, uh, looks like we need to go back that we were before. Why not? Okay, the door is open. I think we have I think we closed that before. Okay, well let's go into the hallway again. I'm having a small thing that something's gonna happen right now. Oh wow! Oh that perfect timing though. <laughs> like I, I was walking the hallway and then that happened. Really? That's just perfect timing. God damn. Oh, and the phone is ringing. Okay, let's just pick up the phone. I want to like, get out of this place, please. Okay, where's the phone? Okay, it's right there. That's perfect. That's all what I need. Pick up. Uh, 
Okay, we didn't pick up the phone. Whoa. Um. Are we on, uh... Looks like we're on drugs. Well, kinda. On Friday, we had a family. Fun and chill. On Wednesday, his dreams did not allow him to sleep. That just sounds... not nice. So on Thursday day, he visited the doctor to confess the abuse. So you confess the doctor? Whoa, that's the door. On Friday night, he did what the doctor told him to do. Okay, we're walking to the to the clouds. He did not have his family. He did the do. Whoa. Um what is going on? Can't see. What is happening? Whoa. Now this looks like a really white looking room. Okay, here we have a little light. Damn, where are we? Are we inside of our dream? Are we dreaming or are we tripping? Okay, there's the office. Well, looks like kind of a, like an office. Okay. Hello. Damn. Uh, can we read some of the letters? No. Okay, we can open the drawer here. Can we open that? Oh, yes, you can. Uh, what does it say? Patient Edward. Testing a new therapy, waiting for results. So he crossed the uh, initial diagnostics. Okay. Weird. Let's just move on. Damn, this looks beautiful. At the same time, it looks kind of terrifying, but at the same time, look at this. It's like leaves, like beautiful pink leaves just falling. Beautiful. Okay, and looks like there's a, uh... Whoa! Calm down, man. Whoa, calm down, man! He's going crazy! Okay, so, Theodore is a very talented child. He's very calm and he has a lot of character of a dreamer. The only thing that he disturbs me is the shadow shadowy shape, which often appears in his drawings. It's probably a character from a comic or something, nothing to be worried about. Okay, we already, I think we already read it that, uh, before. But, okay. Look at that little, little wooden gun looking. <laughs> like, that's an old-fashioned looking gun. And here you have a little, uh, a ball. Okay, oh, what is that? What is that? Uh, that looks like a helmet? Okay. <laughs> Let's just walk forward. Just keep walking forward. Oh, look, what is that? Is that a piano? Damn, that's a huge piano. What is gonna happen here? What are you fighting? Okay, here we have another letter. Uh, Teddy's th third birthday was great. I think we already read that. I don't know. There's like there's some some letters that remind me of I don't know when. But okay, where is the border? Okay, we already read that. I know that before. But uh, mental development is the only free as his father. Okay. Uh, yeah, we already read that between dreams and reality. Okay. I'm gonna leave that alone. Yeah, if I haven't read like if some of these letters that I haven't read, sorry about that. But like. That letter on the chair, like, I, like I remember that from like the greenhouse, so I don't know why. What is the point reading that again? So, whoa! No, where are you going, kid? <gasps> are you alive? <laughs> he just like ran straight out of like, whoa! 
Okay, um... Just keep walking forward. Looks like we're a god. Just walking on the bridge. Yes, give me that power. Yes. And looks like the bridge is still going. Where are we walking? Are we walking in the middle of nowhere? Oh, okay. Um, That's not good. Can I walk towards there? Oh, no, I can't. Well, now I'm kind of stuck. What am I supposed to do right now? I'm sort of stuck. Um. Oh, there's Ducky. <gasps> Yay, pick it up. We got another Ducky. Okay. Oh, no. <laughs> Look at this place. Oh, we're, we were all the way there. Okay. Just keep walking forward. There's a door that we can open. Open that. Oh, there's another door. No. No colossal doors. I don't want that. Okay, there's no do door behind there. Oh, god damn. There's another door. Open this one. <laughs> god damn. Stop messing around with me. I want to open and finally a door. Oh. I think we did. Okay, we are back in the house. And there's a thunderstorm happening. Okay. Hey there. Can I get into the bathroom for a while? Uh yeah, honey, I'll be right there in a second. Looks like the kitchen is still intact. Okay, well, let's go to the house again. Or we are already inside of the house, but let's go into the hallway of the house. Okay, looks like everything is still in the same place. Oh no. Okay, the chairs are blocking the stairs. Is someone... Oh, that looks different. Uh, can we open the door? Honey, bring me the towel from the bedroom. I forgot about it. Well, I will do that, but can I come in? I can't. Okay, that's, that's great. Uh, so we need to find a towel. Okay, it's not going to be in the kids' room. That's, that's for sure, but... Maybe here? Are some of these all, like... Doors unlocked. Oh, this one is. Oh, okay. Okay, so this is a, uh, a normal looking bedroom. Nothing special to see here except a mirror. Uh, ooh, okay. So, due to many responsibilities, I don't have the time to take care of our garden. I have asked Steven to help me to hire some uh, somebody to help at the le at le last. Okay. Wow, sorry about that. At least that much that we can offer. That's all I, I ask for him for. Okay, so I can't stand these uh, mechanical attempts to make a genu uh, genius of our child. Steven is our line of fanki fake uh, thanking our child to, to hosp uh, hospitalize or testing him with mental development. Mephis is sick fade. Some things I think that... Okay, I'm so, so bad about... Okay, mar marriage was a big mistake. Okay, so it looks like another, like, little dialogue, like, yeah. 1975, well, that's a long time. Looks like we're in the 70s. Uh, anything in the drawer? Nope, just a book. And my English and my reading at this point is just the best. Like, wow. Okay, so we got a towel. I'm gonna grab that with us. Okay, what is that book? Looks like a, like, looks like a brain. Reading about brains, okay. Close the door behind this. Be like a nice, good person. And let's just bring the towel to the bathroom, I'm guessing. Oh, um. Am I supposed to go inside? Okay, I'm just gonna close the door behind me. There you go, you got your towel. Are you happy? Okay. What is happening? Whoa! Calm down. Um, are you okay, lady? You're still in the shower? Well, I can't really see her, so... Okay, we got another letter. I have mixed feelings about our relation. Steven is my new employer, and I own him a lot. I know this is not a discussion to be held through a letter, 
let me meet the garden in two days. Okay, let, let okay. Let let's meet in the garden in two days as usual, spot Edward. Okay. Looks like another uh little note. Well it's not really oh. Who's knocking the door? Or the or the windows. Okay, so let's just exit out of this place. And again, the phone is ringing. That's great. Let's pick up the phone again. And here we are. Pick it up. Okay, so looks like we're back in the office again? In the hospital. Okay, that's that's perfect. So there's some more syringes. Nope, nothing to see here. Except can we exit out of this place? Oh no, there's a little a little letter here. Okay. So dear Emmerham, thank you so much for sending me the Dr. Alefield Bennett. Okay, I can't really say that name. P publication about the verification of a children's IQ. Thanks to it. I have come up with a great idea. I will not let you in on the details yet. I don't know. I don't not. Okay. I do not want to jinx it all. I can't say it, it will be it will be a connected with a increasing of the IQ of our of our very small children. It's a I initial part of their mental development in will you know development. It will be revolutionary. Okay. Imagine intelligent either development of their uh, early stage age to uh, advance our world in science okay so it looks like a letter from like for like making their children intelligent or something something about that so sorry if I'm not reading that like sorry if, I, if you guys can't really understand me reading these letters but if you guys can read it by yourself make sure to do it like I don't know but okay so it looks like we're back in this room uh, okay, there's nothing here to see except letters and more drawers. Okay. Okay, so the problem is, uh, do we have anything unlocked? So we can't really go downstairs. So can we go in here? Oh, <gasps> yes, we can. Ooh. We have a tape recorder and something here maybe to see. Oh no, you look terrifying. Okay, just turn that on. Just looks like they were watching a movie. And timer was playing. Okay, let's just let's just uh pick this up. Research theme: the test of the therapy increasing the intelligence among children. The subject of the research: Theodore Dowell. The first attempts to increase IQ, I started using suggestion and manipulation method during REM sleep. The subject handled the experiment very well. I began the observation and started the manual visual tests phase. Okay, so you started with the visual tests. I think that's what he said. Oh, and I got an achievement. That's perfect. Intensive listener. You listen to every tape recorder. Oh, yay! Got an achievement for that. That's that's perfect. Okay, and for some reason, the elevator was making some noise. So, looks like... Oh, hang on. Let me go back to the, to the room again. Is there, like, a chest, like, un uh, like, locked? Hang on. Let me just check that again. Oh, there is. Okay, so we need to find a key for that, so... Looks like we're going upstairs. Looks like we're going maybe down the elevator or up the elevator. We shall see. So, let's go back and use the elevator. I hope it's not gonna crash like before. This elevator better be safe. It sure does make a lot of noises. But I, ha I have seen much creepier elevator. I have seen much creepier elevators than this, so don't worry about this. It's not a, uh, not really that creepy looking of an elevator. Actually, what is that? I can literally see between the. Okay, really? Oh. Well, that's perfect. Um. Let's go. Oh no no! Stop making those noises. Please please. I'm just here trying to find a key. Okay, what is behind me? Oh! <gasps> Oh god, okay, I'm just gonna back away. Don't worry about me. Let's get inside of this place. Oh wow! <laughs> what was it? What happened here? That was just a chair flying towards the room. Who are you? Looks like a puzzle. Are you a puzzle? Oh yes it is. Oh no, it's one of these games. Oh! Oh I did it! 
Well, you look terrifying, buddy. I'm just gonna take the key. Thank you for that. And that was a really easy puzzle. I just had to press a couple of buttons, and that's that's it. Okay, thank you for the keys, buddy. Okay, the darkness is like getting really close behind us, so I don't feel right about that. Uh, anything here? Let's get inside this place. Damn, this looks. <laughs> Uh, I can't see a single thing except a light bulb. I'm gonna take that with us. Why not? We could use it for something, but I don't know what. Uh, get inside this place. Anything here? Any letters? Any paintings? Whatever like that? Doesn't look like it. Like, it's so dark. A flashlight would be really helpful right now. Okay, so let's go back and, uh... Am I supposed to go there? Like, am I supposed to go back again? Like, I'm not gonna go back there because... Oh, no. Um... Oh, what is that? Okay, turn... <gasps> well, looks like the light just killed all the darkness. Thank you! So, uh, remember, people. Light kills the darkness. That's all I'm gonna say. Okay, please stay on. Don't, don't, don't turn off, but, like, by itself. So, let's open the doors back again and uh, get into the elevator. And now we have the key for the chest. So, close that door behind us. Now, looks like we're going back. With our keys. Okay, block zero. Or, uh, number zero. There we are. Okay, so let's use the key. Going back to that place. Nice and easy. There you go. And let's start opening this chest. Yes. We got it. And we got a rubber ducky. Yay. Grab that. And we got a letter. Okay, dear... Okay, why is the phone ringing at this moment? Okay, dear Abraham, it's all gone to hell. My entire planet was all of it. Everything was based on a suggestion and was an attempt to ma manipulate dreams of a... E R E M a face. I was testing on my son, Teddy. I the Teddy I thought I would not be a harmful that I had nothing to lose. On the uh, on the okay, Connor. I would not be one of them. Okay, so looks like the test didn't like work and might have interest in patients soon. So something failed in the projects. Okay, re regret Steven. Doesn't sound that good. Okay, sorry if I haven't read the whole letter. But, okay, let me pick up the phone. Oh my god! <sighs> Why had you to do that? Why? Can I open the door? No, I can't. Okay. <gasps> okay, um, hello! Why do you have to do that? Why? Okay, please, I just want to get out. Please. Oh no, stop, stop, stop. Please. I just want to get out. Oh, please. Oh, no. Not good. Not good. Not good. It's dark. This is not good. Oh, my God. Well, hello, hello there. Well, that was the doctor. Oh, wow. Okay. Wow, look at this place. This looks completely different. Like the game, like now the game has like a totally different feel to it. Now it's like more of a happy feel to it. Look at this place. It's so beautiful. Look at the hills. I would love to be here. Got a little greenhouse. Okay, so are we are we going towards there? I need to break this with a. a oh, so we need to we need to break the the chain on the door. Okay, so how are we gonna do that? So it looks like we're going back to the little greenhouse. Damn! Look at this little bus. That's like a logo. Like, what is that for a logo on a bus? On a VW bus. But you see, guys, like. When it's dark, you have like this really creepy feel to this game, but now it's like beautiful colors and just like 
I don't know. This makes me happy. That's beautiful. Okay, let's go into the greenhouse. It's not really... It's not totally a greenhouse, but... Oh, yes, there you go. We got some uh, bolt color, uh, some bolt cutters. Sorry about that. So now we can cut the chain. Damn. I would really love... If the game looked something like this, I would totally play it. But, like, the couple of... Uh, a couple of times when we went into like places that were like really dark and creepy, but this phenomenal. Okay, so we're gonna cut the the chains on the the door, so now we can walk to the other side. Okay, and we are here. Cut them open, and yes, let's go. Damn, I love this so much. What is that? Is that a deer? Oh, what was what was that? That was a moose or a deer. Looks like it ran away. Where where is it? Did it did it literally like like climb the the rocks and just like went between the trees? Damn. Now look at this. This calms me really down. I like it literally. It's not. It's like the most relaxing part of the game. I can just tell you that. And looks like we're going above a bridge. Okay, so... Looks like we're headed straight to the mountains. Or the beach. Okay. I'm really liking what I'm seeing. Oh, look, look at this place. Look at the boat. Okay, so looks like there's like a little picnic table there. Let's go towards there. It's like moving. Can I, can I like push it? No, I can't. Okay. Uh, there's some wine, some uh, bananas, some apples. Delicious. Okay. So, the stream session with Teddy have allowed to obtain the outcomes that my husband is strongly desired to toxicate, toxic my father-son father relation with. It's, uh, it, it, Teddy is no longer as happy as had been before. He had become very afraid of darkness. On the only hand, this is normal at, at this age. I truly don't know how can I re relay on Eddie, but he seems strange recently. I have been trying to improve my marriage, but it completely lacked of Steven's interest. It's just killing me, and he's constantly talking about his new treatment method. I feel uh, impersoned in the relationship. I can't see any future of it. I know it's a bit reckless, but I'm beginning to, f to feel free. With Eddie, I'll enjoy the interest but that's only I'm giving it, giving me. Only he's giving me. Okay, so it looks like their relationship is not that great, and looks like the kid is like kind of scared of darkness. So that's like kind of normal to age. Like if I, like as a kid, I was also really scared of like darkness. Like, like I remember I was like 11 back in the day, and I was and I was still like really scared of darkness. So it's a normal, it's a normal thing. But, okay, so we got, like, a paddle. So can we use the boat? That would be nice. Oh, <gasps> yes, we can. Now, that's what I'm talking about. That looks like we're leaving the islands, going straight to the mountains. Okay, and it's getting really dark. Or not dark, but it's, like, foggy. I can just sit here and just like listen to this music for like the whole time. But okay, ah, Looks like we're again back in the loading screen. Okay, and looks like we're back in this room. Or not the room, but this place where everything is like really white looking and uh. Yeah. Okay, those are like a pile of books. They're just like stacked up. What there be increasing the intelligence among children. Intelligence among children. Intelligence about among children. Okay. Grab the letter. Uh, okay, we already read that. I think we did. Okay, so we're gonna leave that letter alone. Gonna keep walking forward. 
This is like exact the same place that we were before, like the leaves and all that stuff. Oh, except for that tree. Okay, well, looks like we're back in this place. Oh, yeah, that's the place that we were before. Okay, so... Those are some really disturbing disturbing noises, but yeah, we already have like those are like I think these places are like kind of bringing back to see like uh, the letters from before and like trying to show something But yeah, I remember this place where we were, we were like a second there at the beach just you know relaxing But that's not the case anymore. Oh No, not this again. This little creepy looking machine Damn, you look terrifying Okay, fortune teller. Doesn't really look like a a fortune teller. <laughs> looks like a like looks like a box with just a like, person inside. That's all I'm gonna say. Some red lights. Okay. Keep walking forward. No looking back. Oh, are we at the courtroom? Okay. I'm gonna keep walking forward, and there's a book right there. Can I pick it up? I'm not sure if I want to open the trial. Okay. Are we supposed to do something here? Oh, there's a door. <gasps> Walk to the door. And looks like we are... There we go. Okay, that's not really a great opening door. That just went through the rocks, but still, I'm not complaining about it. Okay, um, are we in the prison? No! Okay, we need to escape. There's some blood on there. Okay, how do we escape? Anything here? No, nope, we are stuck. That's just great, okay. <gasps> oh, it opened! Okay. We're escaping. Close the door behind us. Okay, so there's a lot of blood on the walls. I don't really feel comfortable with that. Oh, there's the phone. Okay, that's good to remember. Open this door. So, we are, for some reason, currently in a prison. Okay. You have a room and a letter. Okay, so. Uh, interroga okay, interrogation pro protocol, 1977. In the case of a murder, Susanna Dowell, a Fedor Dowell, Suspect Edward blurred. Okay, so the integration. Okay, the integr. Okay, interrogation is con uh, consider conducted by the chief of inspector Samuel Wilson. After many attempts to make contact with the suspect, we still don't know. Ha we don't have any information. To the uh, to the accused is constantly smiling and integrously repeating a sentence that reads. Okay, the nightmares have stopped. He is gazed. Absent. Okay, that's weird. He does not maintain eye contact with the integral. Okay, integral order. Okay, he probably does not make anything of the position that he is in without any presence of. Okay, so it looks like they were inter in the interger in interrogation room and they were like, he was like really doing weird stuff that he doesn't. He doesn't not not supposed to do in this room. So. Okay, we're gonna close the door behind this and start with my reading. Again, it's not the greatest, but still. Reading is like, you know, a kind of a, a part of the game, but still, it's not the really most important thing that you really have to read. Good. So maybe you would tell us about your authorial therapy. What do you think, Mr. Dow? Can you hear me? It's better now, isn't it? So, can we continue? Great. Did you know that Susan Dow was pregnant? Is she pregnant? Whoa! Alright, that's some news. That's some serious news. Okay, thank you for me telling me that. Okay, so John, I know that tomorrow is Bowman's shift. So I have hidden the key for the door switches safe in a safe place. Don't tell uh, him anything. Let's drive him nuts for a while. So we need to find a key. Oh, really? We seriously have to find a key? God damn it. Okay, so looks like we're going back. Trying to find a damn key for this place. 
Okay. Safe rubber. Check your tires now. <laughs> Some of these posters, like, come on. Okay, so... Look at this place. A lot of books, a lot of, uh, stuff. What is that? Can we pick that up? That looks like a frog, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Um... Just keep walking here. Uh, another door. Oh, looks like we're back in this place. Come on! Okay, so there's nothing here to see except we could go all the way in the back right there. Just keep walking. I'm hearing. Oh, I'm also hearing a lot of like vehicles maybe outside. Uh, anything here? No, just an office. Oh. Oh, and we need to find a code. No way! Okay, so oh, we have another letter. Okay, integration protocol 1977 in case of a murder. Yeah. Okay, so it's not another letter about it's another letter about you know the protocol, the integration interrogation room. Okay. Uh. Anything here? Oh, this radio. Is that like a code? Oh. Oh, it's like a... Oh, it's like a M Morse code. No, we have some puzzles to make. Okay, uh, let's click on the radio and let me check. Okay, so I'm guessing it's 327. Okay, so we're gonna go back to that place. So it's 327. Okay, so uh, I'm gonna go back to this place. Uh, okay, so, uh, so we need to go to three, three, two, and then seven. There you go. Yes, we got it. No problemo, we got it. Okay, so now we have the key. Perfect, thank you for that. Okay, so that was real easy. I thought that's going to be, like, really difficult to, like, do the Morse code thing, but that was easy. Okay, so now we have to find the place, the inter in interrogation room, and put the key inside of a box. So, let's go back to that place. Close the door if we can. No, we can't. Okay. And there we go. Yes, we got it. And now we have to turn the red lever. Perfect. And the phone is ringing. Perfect. So now we can go back. So, just keep... Walking back. Oh, it's, oh yeah, the phone is in the prison cell. That explains it. So, there we are. In the prison cell. And pick up the phone. Listen, Bowman. Give me some creeps, doctor. I won't manage alone. Okay, so... Uh, another... Okay, I don't know what, where are we exactly, but okay, so we have a newspaper. June issue. Okay, so just some, uh, just a little re letter. It's not really a letter, but looks like a newspaper. Okay, uh, okay, we can't really go inside there. Can we go in here? No? Perfect. Uh, okay, how do we, how do we get in? I'm stuck. I'm like literally stuck. I can't do nothing. Uh, any windows that we can, like, go through? Doesn't look like it. Oh! Um, thank you for opening the door for me, sir. Oh, looks like we're in the courtroom. Oh, no. This is not good. This is not good. Okay. I hereby open the trial against Edward Hurley about Susan Dowell and Theodore Dowell's murder. Prosecutor and counsel wish to say anything before the trial has started. I would like to enclose the report about my client's insanity to the evidence, as well as recordings made by Dr. Dowell during the therapy. Mr. Edward, could you tell us about the relation that was between you and Mrs. Susan Dow, Dr. Stephen Dow's wife, that tried to cure you? I would like to enclose documents from Susan Dow's autopsy to the evidence. Basing on these, Your Honor, as well as the jury can get to know that the victim was pregnant with the defendant. Damn. So they got killed or like and also damn. 
Okay, so we're gonna pick up this letter. Okay, so in Trigoration Protocol, never Protocol. In the case of a murder of Susan Dell, suspect Stephen Dell, uh, pregnant for more of the father of a child is okay. So integration considered by chief of inspector. Okay, we already have read that. After the appearance of a new evidence, we have Susan Dow auto peace protocol. We have okay. We have to come to know that she was in the first month of preg pregnancy. Furthermore, the father of the ch of the child is suspect Edward blurred. We have. It's still okay. It's still okay. I can't really say that. That Stephen has a motive and skills to uh, uh, manipulate Edward during interrogation. Interrogation. The suspect showed lack of contact with the uh, enclosures. He has experienced a bleven. Okay, a bleven state. Okay, so looks like some uh, some stuff here. Okay, haven't read the the letter all the way. Oh. Susan and Theodore Dow's death. Does the prosecutor and counsel wish to say anything before the trial has started? My client, as a doctor, always takes care about patients' welfare. In the enclosed evidence, Your Honor may read about many difficult cases that have been cured by the defendant. He was trying to cure his protege at any cost to ease the pain. I would like to enclose to the evidence the description of one therapy conducted by the defendant, which, as we can read, also finished with a failure. The girl, with similar illness like Edward, who under the influence of the therapy made suicide. And did the defendant realize that his wife was pregnant? Not with him, but with Edward? Damn, there's so much evidence! So much evidence, like, damn! Okay, so... We can't really walk back here. So... Oh, the phone is ringing, that's perfect! Wow, okay, so they had really a ton of evidence to, like, show that the doctor did something really bad. Uh, okay, we have another, like, thing here. Okay, we're not gonna read that. That's just more letters, some more, uh, newspaper. Oh, now the- Okay, for some reason, the phone is right there. Thank you. Uh, looks like nobody is, uh, talking or picking up the phone. Okay, um... And really in a really white looking room. Nice. Okay. Some couches, some more stuff here. So I'm guessing that we are inside of a uh not a nice Steven, oh can I see you in my office? Okay, I'm coming towards your office. I guess so. I'm gonna come towards your office. Uh can we open the door? No. That's that's perfect. Uh can we open this door? No. Okay, I'm coming towards your office. Is that your office? No, this is just a place. Uh, no, nothing here. Oh, oh, we can come inside here. Okay, I'm inside of your office. Hello. It looks like he's not talking anymore. Uh, can we look at this thing? Oh, okay, we can open the drawers. Okay, city news. Mother of seven old son murdered. Wow. Woman, woman received 30 stabs once in two days after the child strangled during sleep. What? The father of the family is one responsibility for all the co um, commissions of all these horrible acts. That's just... How are you feeling today? Everything's okay? I think it's time to show you something. Let's go to the next room. Have a seat and make yourself comfortable. Okay. Damn, that's, that's just... 20 stabs! He's a crazy guy. He's a really, really crazy guy. 20, 20 stabs, damn. This guy is really crazy. Okay, so we're gonna close the door behind us and it looks like we have to go to the next room. Right here, okay. Oh, looks like we're watching a movie, perfect. Do we have any popcorn or anything to eat? No, doesn't look like it. Okay, so let's just sit in the couch, I'm guessing. Or just click on the, the thing, there you go. Relationship started to pass away suddenly. Stephen treated me like a lodger, unwanted person, with whom he lived because it was a point of interest. And I, I started to live on memories and projections that were so beautiful in my head, so perfect. Stephen was in them like years before, like when we moved into our new house and we planned to make a big garden only for us. 
These memories made me stronger, helped me to survive and wait for tomorrow with hope. First time, I thought that maybe I'm only dreaming or the projections about him became ridiculously strong. He came to me like before, smiling, happy, with sparkles in his eyes. Similar situations repeated in the next weeks, and I, instead of looking for their source, was waiting till my loving Stephen came back, just for a while, to feel like before, like years ago. At the beginning of our relationship, Stephen often told me about interesting things from the psychology ward. During his studies, he met with the case of a patient with multiple personalities. I remember well this case because it seemed to be very exciting. So many different personalities in one body that differ in IQ, beliefs, talents, and even visual acuity. I hid my husband's illness to meet with Eddie, his second personality, to feel happy just for a while to fulfill my dreams. During our romance, we often met in the garden. Today, I again talked with Eddie. He is in very bad condition. Steven's therapy started to even scare him, he says. He must make terrible things to be cured and finally take a breath. As a last resort, I will send this recording to Abraham. Wow. Now that was a uh, a movie that just tell everything. But I'm I'm like curious, is this like a real story that happened like is this like serious or not because uh I'm having a small feeling that this is real. Damn. Oh wow. Okay. So it looks like everything is upside down. Great. That's just great. Okay. How do I get up there? Oh, okay. Um that's dark. Thank you for, uh, now I can go to the door. Oh, it's trippy. Oh, wow. That's great. Oh, wow. Okay, why have you to do- Why? Okay, thank you for the ducky, though. Thank you for that. I'm just gonna pick that up. That looks trippy. Damn, look at that. That's really cool. Okay, can I, can I go back? Ooh. Okay, uh, let's just keep walking forward. To this really red red room. Oh, we're back in this place. Okay. We're back in the in the house. Hello. Oh. Um Oh my god. What happened here? Just saw a teddy flying from the <laughs> Teddy's everywhere. Perfect. That's all what I need. The room just looks messed up and just like... Okay. <laughs> I just want to get out here. Oh, never... Like, creepy red corridor with, like, a lot of rocks. Oh. That's the place that I remembered. Being really green and beautiful, but not anymore. Oh, this is the, this is the loading screen of the game. Oh. That's cool. Well, that's the loading screen. That's, uh, that's cool. Okay, we can't really go inside there. Um, can I, can I go inside? No, I can't. Oh, wow. Um, hi. Okay, well, I'm, I'm sorry about that. Can I close the door behind me? No. Okay, let's keep walking forward into the darkness. Or not anymore. Okay, keep walking forward. Damn. And we're still walking forward. Birds flying the sky. This is, uh... So... Are we supposed to jump down there? Oh, we have to jump. <gasps> oh, wow. This looks... Should I do it? Oh. There we go. We just jumped into a big hole. Into a really big hole. Oh, wow. 
wow. Well, I'm guessing that's that. That is the ending, guys. It is. Okay, guys. Well, that was a great game. I I seriously love it. I really love. I really like loved it. So the problem is with this game that was really annoying about it. Like sometimes some of these letters were like really long. Had the, like these really weird things. Like not weird things, but how to say this? But it's just really difficult for me to read it. And. It wouldn't be amazing if they can maybe maybe like add an a like add in a function where you can like press a button and then like some person will like read the letter for you because I remember I remember there was like a um an option for like a, how to say there was like an option where you can just press a button and then you know they can read it for you because I bet mo most of the people that play this game are like not English speaking people or like you know mo most of them they are English speaking people but yeah. Some people, when they play a horror game, they have to read some sometimes some letters, and sometimes they can't really speak any English or like how to say, um, like read it in English. So that's really annoying for those people. Okay, thank you for playing. Continue. Okay, we're gonna continue, and uh, yeah, I apart about for you know apart from that, this was a really great game. Like all I wanna say is I really enjoyed it, and I hope you guys also have really enjoyed it. But uh, yeah. <laughs> I really liked it, but it would be amazing if they could maybe add like a little function where you can just press a button and they can read the letter for you. But apart from that, I'm I'm just saying it's I'm gonna give this game a seven out of ten. It was really nice, and uh, you know, apart from like some of the confusing moments in the game, like you know the letters and just sometimes like some of the glitches or like not glitches, but just like sometimes uh, some stuff that was not really supposed to happen in this game. But uh. Yeah, apart from that, we're gonna end off the last video here of Rise of Insanity. So it would be amazing of you if you could give this video a like. It'd be very, very appreciative of you. And I shall see you guys in the next video. Bye!